Good morning, we're here at 17 Bruton in Indigo Run. And this is just a look down the street. And across the street, nice homes, uh, patio lots back here. Some nice open space looking over to the golf course. And then it just cul-de-sacs right down here. And here's a look at the front of the home. It looks like there is a vacant lot, just FYI, right next door. So there will be a home eventually in that space. Um, at least I believe so. So just, uh, just so you know. Um, but very, very nice home uh, from the outside. Gives you some landscaping room out, out here to plant some flowers. And it is shaded. In the front of the house it's about 11 30 or so it is a wood siding and stucco a little bit of stucco in the around the front door when you come in through the front door you come into tile floors a combination of tile and hardwood tile here in the foyer and then hardwood in the dining room and living room and into the kitchen tray ceiling in the dining room with a one wall uh, that could be for a, a hutch and then a decent sized table. I think you could have a little bit longer table in here, but it's, it's not a huge room. The living room is a nice size with smooth ceilings and tall ceilings, little gas fireplace three-sided gas fireplace in the corner and then a look out to the golf course. We'll go to the left first to the bedrooms. See the nice size bedroom here. You would need to do new carpet I think in here unless the unless these marks would come up with uh, a good cleaning but let's assume that you may have to do do some uh, new carpet walk-in closet in here pull down for your attic linen closet this is the guest bath with a skylight and decent feet fixtures and features in here. Nice tile floors, a uh, low step-in shower. It's not updated, but it, it's in decent condition. And then the bedroom to the front has a peaked ceiling. They have it set up as an office and obviously a catch-all room, but a, a den and a TV room an office. There is a pocket door here so you can shut this off if you have guests. And then let's go across. We'll go into the owner's suite on this side of the home which has a raised ceiling in here and access out to the outside. Looks like there's a fogged window there or fogged door, so that glass may need to be replaced if it bothers you. Decent size room, not huge, but you can see they have an armoire in here, a dresser, a king size bed, a desk here in the corner, and room for two night stands, plus a little extra room on on either side if you were to have larger nightstands. And then a view out to the patio. And there are hardwood floors in here. And then the bathroom has a soaking tub. Double vanity that's raised up. It's a little bit taller. like there's a little bit of work that's going to need to be done 
on this shower. I might consider having a new shower put in and then I, it's, and it's fine the way it is. I just probably would put a new door in and do some work around here. I don't think that it's anything major that needs to be done. Um, some caulking inside around here and a new, new frame would probably do the trick or just leave, leave it as it is and do the, the caulking. So walk-in closet, nice size walk-in closet, lots of stuff. There's a look at the vanity and then private commode with a grab bar. The laundry is right around the corner. The laundry sink over in the corner. Coat closet. A little bit of storage up here. And then the two car garage, which is a good size. New water heater and some pull down storage. Last but not least, let's look at the kitchen. So your appliances are, are dated. You have a white oven, a di Bosch dishwasher. They did put a backsplash in. Looks like a newer subway tile backsplash, newer uh, microwave. It's a small kitchen. You have the hardwood floors running through here. Two sinks, decent size for two sinks. And then a cute little breakfast area with room for, uh, as they have it, a baker's rack. And two bar stools. So it's not a large kitchen, but but um, not bad. I mean, there's a decent amount of, of storage in, in here. Plus, looks like they have a little pantry across the hall. Yeah. Lots of stuff in there. And then this is a uh, trash compactor as well. I don't know if I would have wasted a cabinet for it, but um, but there's a, a trash compactor nonetheless. And outside we have this nice uh, stamped concrete patio. and a pretty view across the golf course. The hole is down here. So this is a look at the back of the house. Everything looks in good condition out here. They have just a little something over here. That piece of siding definitely needs, needs to be replaced, but that's not a big deal. So this is it. This is 17 Bruton, and uh, I'll talk to you soon.